Every year in South Africa, we have a shortage of between 25 and 30,000 teachers. The higher education system currently only produces between five and 7,000 new teachers annually. And every year, approximately 12,800 teachers are leaving the profession. That's not retirement, it's resignations. I did a talk to a group of teachers earlier this year and somebody in the audience interrupted me and said, Darren, please can you update that slide and make that figure 12,803? And her words were, because three of us are leaving this Friday because we duck. <laughs> For those who need the translation, that simply means we're fed up. And this made me think and realize that if we blink for just too long, we may open our eyes and find that one of the most powerful professions, one of the biggest professions in our country, teaching, has become extinct. After I launched and published my first book a few years ago, I initiated the Inspirational Teacher Tour, and this gives me the privilege of addressing thousands of teachers every year with a simple message to inspire them to realize that every day they have the power in their hands to create defining moments in the classroom. And so what is a defining moment, you may ask? Well, I'm sure some of us here may remember a subject in grade two. It was called recitation, where you get up in front of the class, you make sure you've got good posture, and then you proceed to recite a little poem, something like, mice. I think mice are rather nice. Their tails are long, their faces small. They haven't any chins at all. So as you can see, <laughs> I did that fairly well. And at the end of grade two, I got my report card, and guess what I got for recitation? 13 out of 10. Now, I know you think it's odd. My parents thought it was odd, too. And so when school reopened the next year, they confronted my grade two teacher and asked her, how do you explain this 13 out of 10 that you gave Darren? And the response they got was something like, I'm going to leave it this way because this child has an above average ability to speak in public. And recitation is really just preparation for public speaking later on. That's a defining moment. Seven years old in grade two, my destiny defined in a classroom. Today I speak for a living, <laughs> it's my job. And I don't know if I would do it effectively if my grade two teacher didn't recognize that potential and verbalize it. And so I could easily stand up here and tell you story after story about the important role that teachers have played in shaping the person I am today. But I would much rather ask you to just take a moment and remember perhaps one teacher who stood out in your school career and possibly had a positive impact in your life. And let's not take for granted the many stories we hear from people we all look up to who can echo the statement, a teacher changed my life. Just one of those stories surfaced recently where we learned how an ordinary teacher from the Eastern Cape spotted a young boy, a poor boy from a township who had an exceptional sporting talent. This teacher helped him secure a scholarship to a prestigious school where he was able to excel at the sport. And just the other day, that little boy, Sia Kulisi, captained the South African national rugby team and led them to a World Cup victory. Now there's so many stories like that and so many others that we may never even hear. But for now, I'd like us to reflect for a moment on the current state of the teaching profession, particularly in South Africa. Now, there are the usual challenges, the everyday challenges of marking test papers and deadlines and exams and explaining difficult concepts. But how did it get to the point where it's become almost a weekly occurrence for us to see video clips or newspaper headlines of a teacher having to run for their life after a learner has been threatening them with a weapon or pointed a gun at them? Who would have thought that one day we would see visuals of an elderly teacher holding an ice pack to a swollen black eye before she's rushed off to the hospital for stitches after a primary school learner has just assaulted her? When did it become okay for a teacher to lock herself up in her own classroom and use her cell phone to, to film proof of grade four learners shouting insults through a window with vulgar examples of just how they would insult her and how they would hurt her later on? Or even worse, 
Who would have thought that we would read about a teacher being stabbed to death by a learner over an altercation of sandwiches? You can see that what used to be called the noble profession is fast becoming an unbearable, unattractive, dangerous, and devalued one. Violence in schools and the pressure from government and parents and the pressure to perform and produce great results, sometimes with inadequate resources, lack of support. It's not just adding to the daily stress of our teachers, it's literally driving them away. And if this continues, we will see and hear less and less examples of teachers being able to be present in the moment in order to create that defining moment. Because let's be honest, when you're fighting for survival, the last thing on your mind is changing lives. And so if teaching is still the one profession that creates every other, how do we preserve it? Now you may have heard a saying that says, sometimes what hurts more than the words and the actions of our enemies is the silence of our friends. Let's not be silent. A teacher changed my life is not just a beautiful slogan or a great title, it's a call to action. It's a call to action for those of us who are not in the classroom every day to become a friend to the profession. For us not to be silent, but to lift our voices and speak for these unsung heroes who contribute so much to society. We can add our voices to the discussions about having safer classrooms and having safer schools. We could possibly question some of the policies that exist that removes the power from teachers to have um, decision-making ability and be more effective in the classroom. But we need to pull together to elevate this profession again. After about five years of doing the work that I've been doing with teachers, the number one desire that they express is just a desire for genuine appreciation. And that's something all of us can do. How about if on World Teachers Day, we actually do something to recognize and thank the teachers who teach our children, and maybe even encourage our children to do the same? A few months ago, I had the privilege of being invited to speak at a school on the first day of a new school term. And after my talk, this is now about 30 years after my grade two experience. And after my talk, a grade two teacher walks up to me and she says, Darren, that talk was so good, it should be a TED talk. I stood back because that statement left me completely perplexed. How did this teacher know exactly what to say to speak directly to a secret dream I had been carrying in my heart for years? You see, teachers just have that ability the ability to ignite dreams, and the ability to change lives. And so after speaking to Ms. Clarkson for a few minutes, she told me that she had resigned on that very same day to take up a teaching job in Kazakhstan. I had to Google where is Kazakhstan. <laughs> but the reality is, and the truth is, for many teachers, staying has just become too unbearable. It broke my heart, and so... I felt as if I had to do something and I negotiated. I said, okay, so if I sign up for a TEDx talk, will you stay? She laughed it off and she said, let's see. And here I am today, standing on a red dot, trying to do my bit to keep a few good teachers in South Africa for just a while longer. I'm really just trying to be a friend to the profession by leaving a simple message of support and appreciation for every teacher who returns to the classroom every Monday, every new term, every new year, every teacher who still inspires our children to dream. Thank you for what you do. What you do matters and it makes a difference. And now it's my hope that any person who can echo that statement, a teacher changed my life will express some of that genuine appreciation that our teachers are longing for. You have the ability to help elevate and celebrate the one profession that creates every other. 
My name is Darren August. A teacher changed my life. Thank you. Thank you.